Okay, so secret number one, how to set up a profitable, predictable, winning Facebook ad campaign in a day or less. How? Okay, so most people think you've got to spend hours of training, experience, or maybe even YouTube binging before creating a successful Facebook campaign. Who thought that before? Because that is not the case. All right. Now, when you think that, you're missing out on a lot. Okay. You're missing out on leaving. You're literally leaving money on the table. All right. You're staying on this, like, on the fence, basically. You're teetering either way. You're like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I doubt that I can do this, but maybe if I just, you know, look up a lot of things, I can figure this out. No, guys. No. All right. The key is this. If you don't have a system, ain't nothing happening, period. <laughs> you can set up a profitable, predictable, winning Facebook ad campaign when you've got a system in place. So AKA a funnel. I know you guys have heard of funnels. I know a lot of you out here probably have funnels, but if you're not hitting your income goals, then something needs to change, all right? Something needs to be refined or edited or just overall take a second look at because if your funnel is not bringing in the money something's not right all right so here's the here's the deal systems and processes right this is what the rich use to get rich okay a set of things working together as parts of a mechanism or an interconnecting network that's the the definition of a system now a process is now a series of actions or steps that are taken in order to achieve that particular result, right? So in order to make infinite amount of sales or new customers or whatever it is that your goal is, you're going to need to leverage systems and processes, okay, instead of leveraging your time. The trading time for money is not, not what we're doing anymore, all right? And with ads, you don't have to do that. With a funnel, you don't have to do that. You can literally break the chains to trading in time for dollars, all right, now let me show with share with you guys exactly what the Facebook funnel looks like. Okay, so many of you out there right now, if you're like, I've used ads, they're not working, um, try again, honey boo. And I'm like, well, what is it that you did that's not working? Or if many of you guys out there are like, I'm selling perfectly fine without my ads, like I don't need to spend more money to try to make more money. I'll just keep going at the pace that I'm at. That's fine too. But just so you guys know, the only way that you can take a stranger, right, complete stranger who knows nothing about you, to a sale, to now a satisfied customer, okay, notice I didn't stop at sale, out, keep it going, and through, into, um, and pull them, them through the funnel to become a satisfied customer, is by making sure that you're speaking to the right person in the first place. Because if not, you'll be spending a lot of money and a lot of time and effort speaking to the wrong person, right? Or even worse, you can speak to the right person with the wrong message, okay? And another thing that you can be doing is speaking to the right person, okay, with the right message, but at the wrong time. So me walking you through this Facebook funnel is going to clarify all of this for you. And I want to hear a big aha uh -huh when you get it, okay? So the Facebook funnel looks like this. So at the top, it's cold. In the middle, it's warm. And at the bottom, it's hot. So what does this mean? Like, how am I supposed to pull people through this temp range right here, okay? After hot, that's where the money comes in. And Facebook, with Facebook ads, you're able to create this funnel with ads. And it's a machine. It's a system, right, with processes that happen within the system that allow you to take a cold stranger, a paying, a uh, cold stranger into a paying customer, into a satisfied paying customer, basically on autopilot, all right? Y'all might have to pop in every now and then like a manager or CEO and say, what's up? Or maybe help close the deal or whatever that may be. Um, but at least the system is working for you, all right? So what is cold, warm, and hot? Like, what does that even mean? Okay, guys, this is very interactive, so I am paying attention to the chat. If you have any questions, I am here, okay? So cold means new people, fresh people, people who don't know you, all right? These are the people that you target with 
interest targeting. So keywords and all sorts of, you know, identifiers and demographics, but mostly psychographics within Facebook that you're using their data to find people who will engage with you, who you can provide value to, who you can educate them, who you can build your brand with. All right, these are fresh new people. Remember that 60,000 I mentioned earlier, like how long would it take you to reach 60,000 um, people in real life, let's just say, to spread the word and talk about your business too? Well, here is where you can do it with just a few dollars on Facebook ads. And here at the top of your funnel is where this happens. So the top of your funnel, you want to constantly be bringing in new cold people. This is how your business is going to grow. If you think talking to the same circle of folks on your Instagram or Facebook page is really going to get your business to the next level, I want you to think again. I want you to use the power of Facebook and Instagram ads and start off by talking to cold people. All right. I'm not going to say start off like we're not going to disregard our warm and our hot people, but in order to keep the, the funnel flowing, we constantly need to be pouring in new cold people. OK, now warm. Who are warm people? Like, what does that even mean? So warm people are a couple different types. So warm people are going to be the cold who have now been nurtured and become warm. OK, so they've been filled up through the top of the funnel. They've been flowing through. They've been engaging with you. Um, you've educated them. Maybe you've provided them with some value. And now they are primed and prepped like they've been exposed to you. They know who you are and they're ready to kind of hear what you're about. All right. So those people can be cold who have become warm or warm can also be people who you already got in your bucket that you're not even utilizing. Right. So like those who um, are on your email list, those who have visited your website before. These are like custom audiences that we can create within Facebook that you can immediately start to turn a group of people who already have been exposed to you at some point into hot, warm, ready to buy people. OK, so these are people who have engaged with you, maybe your Instagram engagers um, and they don't have to be following you. OK, no, I didn't say your Instagram followers, your Instagram engagers. All right. They may have seen you, but have not really taken any true action. Like they just follow you, but they haven't really like opted in for one of your things yet or checked out that new um, that new product that you launched or, you know, check out your store and shop now. They're just kind of like. They're kind of eyeing you from afar. All right. These are the warm people. And then hot. So hot people. These are those who have come down further through your funnel. They were cold and now they're warm and now they're ready to take it to the next level. They're like, OK, girl, I or I, OK, okay, guy, like whoever you are, I see you. Um, I like what I see. Or if you guys are in drop shipping, any drop shippers in here, then just note that this can be even for your store, people who may have checked out your store and then they became warm because they um, view that product, you know, they engage with the ad, they checked out your store and then hot means that they're actually ready to buy. Like they've added to cart, but maybe they just haven't purchased yet. Every one of these people can be retargeted. Anybody in here know what retargeting is? Or let's just say anybody not know what retargeting is. Okay, good. So retargeting is sending a follow-up message, right, or ad to anyone that has already previously been exposed to you. So we can retarget the cold people who have engaged with our ad or who have, you know, maybe decided to check out our page when they saw our ad. Because remember, guys, like not everybody is going to click and instantly buy what you have on the first impression. They need to be followed up with. All right. So those can be those people can be retargeted. And then the warm people who now maybe they've become a lead and maybe they have booked a call or maybe they've added to cart and now they're ready to buy. They're like this close. You're definitely going to be retargeting them. OK, so they are called hot people. OK, now here's the thing with this with this Facebook funnel. Right. You need to do this in this order, because if you want sales, you need to really look at this as if it's you. So do you go into, I don't know, like a store and you just go straight to the register? Like you just go, you walk to the register, you pick up something on your way to the register and you just buy it. No. Or do you kind of like have to get familiar with the store, take a look at what it's about, what kind of items they have, 
and then maybe you pick up a couple of things, you put them back, you see which one is good for you. Um, maybe you take a couple of phone calls because, you know, it's the middle of the day and you're just chilling. You end up getting distracted on your phone. I don't know. But then after a while, you look up and you're like, oh, wait, 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 let me, you know, let me remember why I'm here. And maybe they've reminded you and maybe they have come up to you and asked, do you need any help? Maybe they have a person that's coming up and saying, oh, that would look so good on you, right? And then you finally take the decision to take something that you like up to the register, pay for it and check out, All right? Think about that. As a consumer, you do that. So why would you expect one ad to be served to one random person, especially on the cold part of the journey, all right, in the cold, the top of the funnel and expect them to just buy? No, 80% of sales come from retargeting ads. Okay, guys. Whoa. So here's an example of a Facebook funnel. All right. The top of the ad, you're really just kind of introducing them to the brand and what it is and how it works. All right. And really the benefit of what it is that you even offer. That's number one. That's the first thing. That's the brand new people who don't know you need to first learn who you are. Right. Now, the middle of the funnel, which is the warm people, these are people who have seen this ad, right? They've engaged with it, they like it, and they've maybe, maybe they've clicked, maybe they haven't, but they've definitely, definitely watched the video. Like they want to learn more. They've decided to learn more. And by them watching the video, now they know more, right? And now you're going to show them a different ad because now they're warmed up. And now they're like, hmm, I like what I see. Not ready to buy. I've just learned about it, but I like this. This is really cool. OK, so then they become a warm person. So they're in your funnel under warm. OK, you got them a little lukewarm. And now you're going to serve them another ad that is going to show them what it is that makes you different. So what's your unique sales proposition? Like, why do they need you instead of anyone else on the market? And maybe in order to do that, you need to showcase testimonials to them. Maybe you need to show other people that you've helped and how they fit the bill, okay? How they've used what it is that you offer to change, change something for the better, okay? And showcase those reviews. Hi, Monique. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Mia. Hi, Tia. Hey, Salta. Hey, Alan, Lorena, Abina, Nina, Kelly, Andrea. Ooh, hey, guys. Okay. So now once they have gone through the cold, the warm, okay, now they become hot. And now this is where you hit them with, you need to buy this now because of this, 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 all right? Remind them with the benefits, maybe offer them a, a, a special promotion of some kind, not required, okay? But most people do a little something, something just to kind of get that first customer through the door. And if you're an, a service provider, you can do the same thing right? Now, keep in mind, you may need to first introduce what it is that you do in a way that provides value. Like, hey, I'm so-and-so and I do this and here's how it benefits you or how it could benefit you, right? And then the next ad for those who watch the original video could be, here are some other people that I've helped. Look what, look what happened to them, okay? Now, if you were pulling people through this funnel, you're tracking it because... That's what Facebook allows you to do, all right? And then by the time they come through here, they're warm, they're primed, they're prepped. Mind you, the audiences will get smaller, but they're way more qualified than if you would have just thrown up a single ad, threw your money at it, and just hoped and prayed that you got new leads or sales. Because I guarantee most of you are doing this right now. You're running ads, but you're not exactly sure if they're working or not, because you're not following a system. Your business needs a system. And a system looks like this, a funnel, right? If you're not following a funnel, you cannot guarantee, control, or predict any sort of sales in your business. Does that make sense, y'all? Y'all following along with me? Whew, I know y'all probably eating right now on lunch break or something, but geez, show me some love. And I'm, or you know what? I'm going to take... I'm going to take that back. You guys are probably head down taking notes, right? I see. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. So here's the thing, right? At the end of the day, this is what you need. You need to have 
the right person seeing the right message at the right time. Now, it's not hard to get this. You just really have to understand the process because once you understand the process, it's all good. Like, you know how to set it up. You have your system and you're ready to go, okay? Now, it's figuring out the process. It's a heavy lifting in the beginning that may take some some time, some thought, some effort to really set up your funnel the right way so that you can have predictability in your business. Hey, Monique, you said I have to watch from the beginning. Yes, girl, go ahead and go back. That's why I decided to do a very unique thing today and go live with this webinar on Facebook so that you all can have this in real time and go back if you need to, okay? So when you have the right message, the right time, the right person, you have a system that now you can rely on to generate sales. And the way that you do that is with the Facebook funnel, okay? Your ads need to be following the Facebook funnel if you want them to succeed, okay? And I'm gonna share a few case studies with you guys as well for people who did this and really made a big difference in their business, all right? So remember, we are leveraging systems and we're getting rid of leveraging time for money because no one's no one nowadays needs to trade their time for money. You don't need to. You've got systems in place, whether you have an e-commerce business, a coaching business, whatever that is, you can use systems and funnels and the power of Facebook and Instagram to run ads for you, to build your business for you while you focus on the things that are more important, like you know the operations or the marketing things like that. But at least you've got a sales system in place that can keep your business growing. Because here's the thing, y'all, if y'all don't have sales, you're just, you're not a business. I mean, obviously there's a lot of things that make up a business, but sales, without sales, there is no business. Okay. So what is the first secret that you've just learned? You can set up a Facebook campaign that's engaging and that sells when you have a funnel in place that will target the right people at the right time with the right message. Okay, y'all, make sense? Yes, you need a sales system. 